cover up. Okay. I do not remember what meaningful choices I made in the third season. Yes, I know I played the third season. Oh yeah, that's right, they did this thing where you can like create choice data like through their website or something. Uh, no, I'm going to adjust the slider so the logo is very visible. Because I always do that. Anytime that a video game asks me for my brightness settings, I usually turn it up like about as high as it'll go. When the dead started walking, Whoa. it was small and alone. Oh, re recapping the whole series here, Until I think. Until a man named Lee became my protector. I'm still, uh, me and Jenny are still thinking of maybe having her play through this series. We protected other people too. But, uh, but we'll see. Save everyone. I think that there's, like, enough to this series that Jenny could probably get into it. Can never save everyone. Oh, I see. So they're, we're like... We're just as dangerous as the dead. Oh, did they do like a whole animated thing for your choices? And then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. Yep, that was like... I want to say that that moment in the first season of The Walking Dead was like the first time where I was playing a video game and I had to like stop and put the controller down and be like, fuck. Like, kind of give myself a moment to breathe. They left her on the side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could. But he got bit. Because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Oh, what? Does it, like, not remember... this? I could have sworn I played the first game. Well, I mean, I know I have. Anyway. Uh... I think that was what I said. Just not worth the risk. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. I'm liking this uh, art style for the... Uh... He asked me to shoot him. Okay, no, yeah, like it does remember... It is remembering like choices. I met another group after that. But not all of them. people running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ. He made it. But the mom didn't. Yep. And I started to take care of him. But then Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without me around, I had to make the call. Yeah. Oh, what? Like, it doesn't remember this one? This is weird. I'm confused. <laughs> it's like remembering certain things I did and not remembering other things. Uh, I really... I liked what they did with setting up tension between Kenny and Jane, and I did not like the way that the conflict kind of culminated. It felt dumb. <laughs> so. I stopped Kenny. Finally gave him peace. It I was. I was, was alive. I was not Jane at all happy with neither Kane nor Kenny nor Jane. I was upset Knowing with both what of them. Done, Uh, I still decided we were but I like Jane a lot. For so. AJ's sake. But like everything else, it wouldn't last. It went to shit. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked. But I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. 
I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. Man, how much time has passed from the first game? I have, and I'll protect it with my life, just like Lee did for me. That whole sequence, like, really, uh, kind of, well, maybe you can't hear me because of this fucking loud music. Uh, that whole sequence was interesting because it really embraced the uh, original kind of identity of this series as being based on the comic books. Like, these games actually technically take place within the same universe as the official, the original comics. Um, and uh, w with some of the more recent aspects of the game, they've been kind of trying to embrace that a little bit, I think. Art style has changed like so much from the first one too. I like how the D is like the stitching is starting to come off of her hat. Uh... <laughs> yep. What you doing there, goofball? And then we got bullets. Hmm. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. Oh. I feel like maybe I should turn on some subtitles for folks. Maybe. Whoa. Yeah, we'll turn on some subtitles. There you go. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. <laughs> How about shit, bird? Uh, huh, no. so I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. <laughs> well, let me drive. I'm not letting you drive. Man, how old is this kid? What's wrong? How old AJ? is Clementine at this Holy. point? What even is that? Like a thing of broccoli? Here, practice your reading. I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream vanilla beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy uh, on second thought, <laughs> never mind. Yep. That's only gonna make you hungrier. What's a vanilla? Here you go. About all we got. Some stale half bag the stale potato it. chips. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. Yeah, they definitely seem, from what I've seen and heard about this season in particular, it seems like maybe Telltale finally did what I've been kind of wanting them to do for a few years, which is, like, pool all of their separate, like, teams together and, like, focus on a single game instead of, like, spreading themselves thin and, like, having things not be quite as sharp as they could be. Um... So I'm pretty pretty interested to see where this season goes production wise in particular. But I definitely like some of the like it? shaders they got going on. I think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. And all the like these like gritty like dirt specks and whatever they got drawn over everything like really adds to this uh 
this mood they're going for. Your hair's getting a little long there, Clem. Gonna have to cut some more of it off. We need water too. You have canteen. Haven't had clean water in days. Pry bar? Isn't that a crowbar? How did you just fit that in your... Oh, okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> a toy that has a bullet hole through it, maybe? And now the crowbar magically fits inside the backpack. <laughs> Alright. Find food. Let's what? Find some food. I don't think I I don't I actually played this this scene was like part of a demo they did earlier, but I don't remember that. Oh whoa. Oh yeah. So they haven't really done this kind of thing before. Where like your care well, I guess they did a little bit of it in season three where you kind of have like free reign to like wander around an environment. Friendly, ring the bell. Like, what does it mean? It means huh. people here shoot first. Yeah. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, so I could ring the bell if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. There's not a, uh, normally with their games, they're usually kind of like fixed camera angles. And you, uh, oh, yeah, they've got this, like, over-the-shoulder thing, and you can, like, you know, jog around. Like, this feels more like, oh, well, might as well take care of this dude. But, like, that's definitely a, a big thing for them. There's a little bit of an echo. What would that be? Like, the game audio or me? That might just be me. That might just be because I'm in a bedroom without much of a, uh, anything to, to pad that. Oh, the game audio. Um, that's, give me a sec here. That actually might just be, uh, because I'm wearing a headset, which is also my mic. So the game audio is probably like bleeding through the microphone into the... <laughs> so I turned down the volume on my headphones a bit. Let me know if that's any better. Let's do the old trick game Tata here. Yeah. It's down. Yeah, let me know if that's Still any better. Me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. Cool. Thanks. Also, hi, Save. Good, good to see you here. Have you, uh, have you played any of this game before? Like this, this is cool. I'm hoping they do more of this, where you're just like in an environment, and you can kind of freely walk around this over the, over the shoulder thing. Like they haven't really done that before, so that by itself tells me like they've been trying to up their production values a bit. Make it feel a little more like a, you know, higher budget game, I guess. Mmm. Garbage water. <laughs> Drink water. Uh, well, do we have purifiers? Because I'm guessing we don't, which means we probably don't want to touch that stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know if you were here for the, uh, yeah, the garbage water is yummy. I don't know if you were here for, like, the beginning, but, like, at the very beginning of this season, they kind of do, like, a whole recap of the whole series so far. Um, and then, uh, I'm guessing what that, what we were actually seeing for that intro was probably what they have up on their website, and, like, that's how you ch make your choices retroactively, in case you don't have save files. Hmm, interesting. What did I? <clears throat> oh, possible hood ornament. What? We gonna customize our car? 
I don't think I looked into that when I played the demo before. Monster All right, game games like this let you do those little <laughs> customizations. I know uh, Life is Strange 2 is going to have like patches on your backpack that you can change. For fun? You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, I want to try. After we clear this place. Ooh. Smart little, little kid. No playing until we murder all the zombies. Um. Let's hop in here. Or not. Guess we should have seen that coming. That's what the crowbar is for. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh, come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? Oh, huh, I like this. We always... Find, find a, way a way out. out. Nice. <laughs> That's right. Retroactively doing character development. AJ is always listening. Gosh, thanks game. For reminding me. Huh. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? I mean, maybe not right now, but, uh... No, they can't. I wouldn't... Hmm. I wouldn't fuck around with that, though. Front door is the only way out. Your choice is determine what he will become. So, okay, then. Out. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. Kill him. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like or dislike that there's like this big like, you know, here's your mission, go kind of thing. But, I mean, I guess uh, it maybe makes it a little more mainstream in case people aren't sure what they're supposed to be doing. Beans! Homemade. Are they still... Might I don't be know. more where this came from. Jar of beans. Promising. Okay. They ate well. For their last meal. I should have followed my own advice and looked for a way out before to explore. But it looks like that door is kind of it. Didn't see any food out there. Oh, well. Ooh, there's a water fountain. Does it still work? Nope. Nope. It wouldn't be that easy, would it? Nope. <laughs> Hmm. Too that looks like a feet. hole small enough for a child. Me. Yep. See anything? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? Let's look around. Let's be smart. Yeah. That's right. Good thinking, kid. Good checkup. <laughs> Child looks somewhat sad and somewhat hungry. <laughs> yeah, like they've definitely like doubled down on like the details. Uh, and at least so far, uh, this game hasn't been running into that like 
I'm not sure. Like, a lot of Telltale games have, like, kind of skipping issues. Like, the games can't keep up with what it's trying to do. And I haven't seen any of that in this one so far, which is a good sign. This opens the box. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, let's just like reach for it, you know, it's fine. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Okay. They took the easy way out. Actually, geez. Poison. Poison maybe that's give up? maybe not the most easy they way. Wanted to leave this world together. Holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. Alright. Here the window. What we gonna do? Options. I feel like dealing with what we can see. It's dark in there. Yeah, it's maybe. We should kill the monsters. Yep, I'm with you, They're kid. Not well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. Yeah, but as no longer so people, best? they are potentially a danger to actual people. No, like, it'd be one thing if they were, like, I don't know, not zombies. <laughs> <laughs> like if they weren't zombies, be like, you know, yeah, respect the wishes of the dead. They're zombies. I'll get the key. And as zombies, they pose a potential threat to people who are still alive. So y'all got what you wanted, and you're not here anymore. So yeah, like normally in like an older Telltale season. Like this, any kind of like action would be like kind of like stuttering a bit and skipping frames and stuff, so they seem like they've at least fixed some of that. Good job. Thanks, kiddo. <sighs> Sorry, it had to go this way. Huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. Well, it's always means... just monsters. Yeah. There's a lot of bad people, AJ. Careful what you wish for. There must be good ones too. Well, yeah, that's You're true. Good. And then sometimes the good people end up uh, doing dumb things. Just a few. Remember what we said? AG is a great shot. Okay. You know this. Oh. <laughs> oh, dang! Save the last bullet. Always no. <laughs> aim for the head. That's right. Come on, yep. let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. Like, I'm trying to think on, like, the whole, like, you know, careful what you wish for thing. There's definitely many of the characters in this series that, uh, are good characters, I think. Uh, you end up liking and caring about, but then they also make dumb decisions. <laughs> but, like, that's kind of life. People you like and care about sometimes make dumb decisions. Um, I actually kind of feel Spoiled. like that's why they did what Sorry, they did buddy. to... Uh, what's fuck. his name? Luke? In the second season? Yeah, <laughs> fuck. Fuck you is that? It, <laughs> Shit, fuck. <laughs> Look. That kid is like me when I was at the tail end of college <laughs> and started being okay with swears. You didn't see a kid? No. No, we didn't. Oh. We might be why they... 
Yeah. Gave up. Well, that does contextualize some of that. You good? Uh huh. Just hungry. Grumbly in your tumbly? <laughs> no, just regular hungry. Well, see what's Something under, under here. here. Floor door? Huh. Floor yeah. door. I must have wanted to hide something. with this much yeah I was gonna say there's like something it's right. got tripped there uh. well that seems like an awful waste why the fuck would you do that AJ destroy all that food I like the the visual style of that. It's very evocative of the comic. Monster. Time to go. Fuck. Okay, we need to get back to the car. And all we got to show for all this is a can of beans, or a jar of beans, which may not even be good. We don't know. What to do? Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. Do the old, old me trick. Dab. Oh, oh, that seems bad. Oh. Well, at least the zombie was polite and waited his turn. I know, right? Yeah, this kid is <laughs> uh, definitely used to this. Clementine is very used to this. Like, this is like what she's grown up in. Yeah, definitely, they're definitely working on like more dynamic stuff with the camera than I think they've ever done before with this one. This is cool. I mean, I'm not sure you really want to... Yeah. Yeah, that maybe wasn't right, the first option to go with. Because now we don't got our keys. Well... I don't know how this works. <laughs> I've been doing this kind of car before. Well, good times. Oh, what the? First person. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get him. Get him, kid. Oh, yep. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> I like the uh, the floor of this. <laughs> Put on your seatbelt now. <laughs> yep. You're gonna get bumpy. <laughs> Dang. Yep. <laughs> Like I'm trying to imagine like a like an earlier season of a Telltale game, and that that little sequence right there, that would have been stuttering like hell. It would have been running at like 10 frames a second. No. <laughs> 
Jace cannot drive, please. Oh, we got a stylish. So that was where the uh, the demo they released ended, right? Right before this intro. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where the starting road is Yeah, this is a very stylish intro. They did something Sometimes like this in a, the last season, I want to say. So I guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves and lots of rambling. Well, it's easier than just a way in the rim to die. Intro. I wonder if each episode's gonna get its own little thing like that. Telltale does like to do their kind of like stylized musical TV show intros, which I appreciate. Subtitles, spoilers. Huh. What is this place? So what is on the back of this jacket? Is that like a some kind of bike mechanisms going on? Anyway. Hmm. Where the hell am I? boarding school or something? Maybe summer camp? <laughs> no, probably a school or something. Oh no, I can't reach it. I'm gonna have to go grab a chair from some other part of the room. <laughs> Every game like this now always has one of these. Like, always, I can't reach it, gotta grab a chair from like two feet away. Which I mean, you know, I guess that's just kind of like a quick, easy way for the game developer to be like, sometimes you're gonna have to take something from the environment to get something else. Whoa, sick unicorn sticker. Oh. This will do. What the hell is that thing? Pallet knife. Well, okay. Hmm. 
ass. <laughs> Gonna kill you, motherfucker. Ha ha, try it. Just reading the random graffiti on the wall. <laughs> Which you might not, you guys might not even be able to read it, because I don't know what the resolution on this is looking like. I mean, hmm. Nah, right we'll, here. we'll show some good faith. They Put they the they took Clem in, took care of her. Oh, is that a bow? If we're not gonna hurt you, got your boy. He's safe. <laughs> I'll take you to see him. Just put down the knife. Yeah. I feel like you don't take a person in and take care of them <laughs> if you're like... Your I mean, you could still have some shady intention, sure, but... Whoa, nice hair, dude. <laughs> See? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm Marlon. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. Sorry, yeah, I broke your door. Talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. We're in a pretty rough shape when we found you. I take precautions, you know. Yep. Just in case. Yep. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, you never know. The least. It must have been tough out there for both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. You're safe now. I like how this guy like threat. isn't doesn't seem Come on. stereotypical to, to his appearance. Like based on his character design, I don't think you would expect normally expect like someone that looks like that to sound or or act like that. So I like that. All these kids gotta cut their hair though. <laughs> this is bothering me. Zombie apocalypse, you don't want hair all over the place, dude. Actually this isn't really that bad compared to like the Walking Dead show where everyone's like looks like models half the time and has like super long hair. It's like no. That's uh not so Been smart. Surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah. We've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually well. see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. Sure, I do what I can to get by. No matter what. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. Yeah, I mean, I definitely like elements of the show. And I definitely don't like other elements. I actually like the spin-off show more at this point. I feel like it's been doing a better job. As at least as far as the writing and the directing goes. But it's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. I definitely like how gritty and grungy everybody Car, looks though. Like that's more yeah. realistic, I guess. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? <laughs> Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. That one would have been up there. Uh, hi there? <laughs> <laughs> What's his problem? You're just new. We haven't seen anything like you in... ever. Oh. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Hey. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, yeah, that guy is. Yeah. <laughs> Probably sounds strange. Kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses, a good location too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved huh. ourselves the perfect camp. The kids are safe here. We make sure of it. No adults, at all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave, 
We killed the adults. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Ericsson's boarding, hey, boarding school, school for I troubled youth. It. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without. <laughs> AT and I are angels. Uh. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. Yep. Made a lot of trouble since then. Yep. <laughs> we all had to grow up fast. I'd say that goes double for your boy. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. <laughs> you got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie. Where's your damn weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this kid? Who's this kid? Staring at Clem. I see what's what's up there. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely recommend, even if you don't like the direction that the main Walking Dead show has gone in, if you like Walking Dead in general as a, you know, world for storytelling, I would say give Fear the Walking Dead a, another music. shot. Check. Uh... Season one starts off pretty eh, but uh, it definitely gets better. I, if I'm recalling correctly, season three got really good. Season four has been kind of like hit or miss, but one of the best like Walking Dead episodes in general was like this past week, I think. Um, so like it definitely has its moments. And because there's less characters, they like it's just more focused as a show than the mainline series, and it's not preoccupied with like. I don't know, I feel like the main TV show gets a little too preoccupied with, like, trying to manage its most popular characters so that people, like, continue watching it. Like, it just... Nice. I don't know, like, it feels like it's Even just it's going fake. to make money in a sense, whereas Fear the Walking Dead feels more like we just feel like doing things in this universe that haven't been done before. And Season 4, in particular, has introduced some new characters that are cool and interesting, and I like them, and... Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember like season two, this floor. like quality-wise. Um, I do remember it, like the main show actually, uh, had kind of a slower, slower pace to it. But you know, it's not perfect. But uh, Fear the Walking Dead definitely ass. picks up. Master of fine big ass. ass. <laughs> Juris Doctorate of Ass. Uh huh. Okay. I want to get a. Doctorate mm, of Ass. And go this way. Where is that music coming from? Man, these <gasps> kids have graffitied the shit no, out of this place. Hey! Hey! <laughs> uh, that time you woke up, your little boy just bit me. You oh, oh, jeez. He <laughs> totally head. did. He nearly took a chunk out of me. God, it hurts so fierce. I'm so sorry. He acts out sometimes. He's been through a lot. Yeah, well, ain't we all? Don't see any of us sinking our teeth into either of you. We need to learn some respect. <laughs> the piano sounds like it might need a little tune-up. Yeah, you can stop biting people now. <laughs> it's fine. Until, you know, everything inevitably goes to shit. I'm okay. And you know what you are? What? Ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> but, AJ, listen to me. <laughs> I got a trophy for that. Says you bit her. Of course. Is that true? You can't be doing that, kiddo. These people helped us. I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. 
Watch the kid for you. <laughs> My nice name jacket. is AJ. Excuse me. I watched AJ for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. <laughs> he was a bit of a handful. Yep. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. <laughs> Loud and clear, little man. Don't ever do it. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. For being stuck in the zombie apocalypse, a lot of these kids seem to have a nice sense of, of humor course. about them. Clementine. Which I appreciate. Makes things a little more oh, uh yeah. lively. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. <laughs> Double um does he know what that is? It's dirty. <laughs> Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. There it belongs. Dude, <laughs> that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than Been him. so far. Is it actually loaded? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll guarantee he's a better shot than you. Hey. <laughs> you guys do your thing, I guess. <laughs> I'm worried that that, that is going to come back to bite them. But, uh. Well, there is one, but you're armed. Oh my darling! Oh my darling! <laughs> yep. Oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever. <laughs> Can you play something else? Dreadful, sorry, Clementine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is <laughs> bad. Not <laughs> always. Usually, though, this in this world. Come on. This one right here. Go ahead, AJ. Press it. It's going to be, like, broken. Oh. <laughs> Now press this one, and this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey, you seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. Got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You nice. Taking out a few deadheads. Fun's good at that. You too, Lewis. Good enough Jurassic anyway. Jurassic gear. <sighs> Fine. Time to murder some murdered things. Yeah, I like that this already, in general, kind of has more of a lighthearted tone to it, I guess. Just kind of nice for the pacing. Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back. Also, I'm really liking this concept Good. of it's like all the characters are like to kids to, to teens so far. It's definitely different inside. for uh, this universe. The Seems to be a few more than usual the last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. There's got to be some explanation. Look. I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. <laughs> nice to meet you. What he said. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. <laughs> oh, I like that guy's weapon. <laughs> chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 
do what you gotta do to, to get by, I guess. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. The locker. It's a video game. So something maybe kind of relevant if you haven't played the uh, second season all the way through is that whole like bop him in the knee, stab him in the head thing is a move that one of the more prominent characters in season two taught her. Could use a little more finesse though. Watch and learn. Hey, <laughs> kiss, not kill. Well, that would be a very different game, wouldn't it? And that's Undertale shit right walker. there. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Well, where does... Oh. Okay. Flop. Alright. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Whoa, this is like straight up like third person kind of... Oh, oh, damn. Okay. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> you are dead. Wah, wah. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. So pay attention to where you're, you know, doing those things. Don't let him sneak up behind you. Yeah, I was actually thinking that too, that these traps do seem like too much effort for just like a single, like killing just a single thing. But, on the other hand, doing a lot of preparation so that killing them only takes like a minute is probably, uh, probably worth the preparation for Looks things like get a little too place. hairy. Come on, meet him halfway. This, like, uh... <laughs> I'm done ready to kill them all like this because I used the trap when I got fucking murdered. Oh boy! Oh boy! Well, do I even have to kill all of them? Oh shit! Well, I can't move that far to run it, I guess. Oh boy. This is interesting, they haven't done anything like this before. Where's that log actually hitting things from? Where's this thing drop? Hmm. Oh, I see, like the ground is kind of marked. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna kill them all like that. That's fine. <laughs> Yo, over here. Nice timing. We're not gonna be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gate. Hunters. They banged out hunters. Got some critters to cook. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Yep, seems like a good idea. Doggo! Ooh, attack doggo. 
Oh, damn! Oh, maybe you don't want to do that, doggo. <laughs> You're gonna get sick. Oh, God. <laughs> Good girl. Shh, shh. Hey, hey. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see so you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog once. Yeah, well, yeah, Rosie she did. Can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. <laughs> huh. Except when she's mauling walking. Oh, my things. God. <laughs> that dog is awesome. And also scary. That walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking star. You're not the only one. How does that dog not get sick? How do you think it went? Be nice, a sim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Oh shit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Maybe you should talk about it inside where there's not potentially standing, zombies sneaking up behind you. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. <laughs> B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. <laughs> I know. You're both delusional. <laughs> I love how chunky that dog is. <laughs> Pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Boots. Oh, jeez. AJ. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad. Uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Painful thing. He can't go around punching people in the. I don't want to expect me to eat at the same table. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? Hmm? That's gross. He should stop. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, No, but we're about to eat like some fucking animals from Whatever the woods. What do you say? I wouldn't. Gross. I didn't oh no. <laughs> I didn't know that. That makes me feel weirdly like Marley. some kind of foreshadowing. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlon was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. Well, AJ, scary's maybe listen, not so bad. We haven't eaten for days. World. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Yeah, time to introduce ourselves to everyone. Now that we're not murdering things. This little happy jaunt. This little happy jaunt going on. Mm -hmm. Was this person's name Ruby, I think? There's that girl up in. Yeah, wanna talk to her? <laughs> Probably you not, but we should. Say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... You 
just gotta start with the joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna go bad. <laughs> yes. Knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Edge. Edge you. Bless you. I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven, you little weirdo. <laughs> I did it! You sure did. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Immediately turns around. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what a cute little kiddo. Sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. Hmm. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Hmm. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. <laughs> Leave him to his diary. Well, you know, some people gotta play out of tune pianos and name their beat sticks. Some people gotta write diaries. Now, if you can't find fresh possum in your neck, squirrel, skunk, or vole can work in a pinch. But there's nothing quite like possum. Every bite tells a story. We'll be right back with more stew with Lou. Please <laughs> stop. I, I we can't. Stop. I really can't. Hey guys. Glenn, AJ, this is Omar. Uh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know <laughs> when we're done. Mitch and Willie. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. We're carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> that little dude said fuck. <laughs> oh, I see. So if I had told him to not swear in the earlier scene, that wouldn't have happened. That's a nice little detail. I think they said we want to wait to hey talk guys. to Marlin last. What is this? Our graveyard. Can you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Hmm. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. Hmm. I've never seen anyone do that. 
Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Oh. Clem. <laughs> so she'll put yeah. I'm ready. Well, I like to that. Uh, normally, the trophies in Telltale games okay. are just straight up like play through the episode, and that's usually you just like play through the whole game, and you get all the trophies. This one seems a little more, uh, you know. There's like I got one for tickling the kid earlier, so and that one I assume was for talking to everyone in this section. Talk to Marlin and friend. <laughs> I guess we don't know Clementine, his friend's right? name yet. I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. <laughs> Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty sweet. Not everybody sees that. I won't pay them no mind if you won't. <laughs> I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest <laughs> and eat kill our monsters? I guess. Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Made themselves a decent amount of stew. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <coughs> Come on. Uh. <laughs> hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say good night. <laughs> good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. Oh. <sighs> I'm all done. <laughs> you already Me ate too. it. Now what? I'll well, wipe you your face. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. <laughs> Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh, shit. Oh, good, I like good that. Comeback. Cool talk. Uh uh. True talk. <laughs> it's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? Oh, but what if Clem wins? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? You get to ask, you get one to ask us one. Yep. It's only fair. Oh, wait, what about AJ? Oh, where the fuck? Where did he go? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Aww. Come on. You can take your eyes off me for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's yep, nice to, to have see to him in that like world. a little boy again. Lewis, if you would.
Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? They ain't you around. You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. <laughs> This is kind of interesting. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> haircut. What's yep. up with your haircut, Marlin? Yep, I oh have been boy. wondering that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. <laughs> probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> I say I look cool. <laughs> yep, that was cute. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, yep. ever happened? <laughs> oh, fucking A. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. That's Ooh. a yes. You don't know shit. I know what I know. Hmm. Ah, I win. I mean, I, I interpret so, Clem as a, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the bi range, but obviously in this take care of you. kind of setting, there's not really now been much can. opportunity for Anyone? that. Um, yeah, I mean, a number of people have people. looked after Clem. Everyone had people at some point. We had adults here, now we don't. Well, I had people, and now I don't. Yep. Fair enough. Like, obviously, like, Lee is, like, the most influential person on Clem, I but I, again. I don't know. I don't like the idea of, like, me. idolizing Absolutely. just him and, like, ignoring everyone else that's ever, like, had a connection with her, so. Um. Worst injury you ever saw. Oh, boy. I uh, saw so Walker get hit in the head so hard, both his eyeballs flew out. <laughs> Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes oh God. on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Jeez. I saw this guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Oh, Badly. yeah. There wasn't even any skin left. Ouch. And that's, so that's the thing that mm. you choose whether it. or not, yeah, he did deserve it. <laughs> that's the thing that you could have chosen to not see or see. So I wonder what she would have said if you hadn't seen that. Victory violence. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That is fucked up. <gasps> How oh. I know? Oh no, this is terrible. Lewis, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Oh definitely. no. <laughs> he agrees. What? I'd have said the same. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. <laughs> Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Yeah. We're, this is ain't a fun one. kill someone you loved? Yup. Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Um, I guess I'm gonna say... Yeah, that's interesting. And I wonder if, uh, if I had let Jane die, if that would have been an option instead of Kenny. So, technically speaking, Lee was already, like, on the way out. So I'm gonna pick the Kenny option, because that's someone who wasn't dead, that kind of was going crazy, and I think it's more, like, of an interesting... Yeah, my friend Kenny. What I do like Kenny. I did like him. What, like, but he also went crazy. I like Jane, and she also was not doing okay. Itself back together. Yeah. Believe me. I did him a favor. Oh damn. That's cold, Clem. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. It's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Huh. Let's go, yep. AJ. Time for bed. Uh good night. Good night, AJ. Hey. 
Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. <laughs> yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. <laughs> Just relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. <laughs> then we'll actually have a place to defend. And care about and be invested in. And then everything will go to shit. <laughs> because that's what happens in every season of The Walking Dead. Only way out? Well, I mean, yeah. there's the windows, I guess, but... Oh, no, Good. there's not the windows. Never mind. This box has so many colors. <laughs> that is well, true. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. <laughs> I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Oh. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so... I was going to... Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's... It's fine, don't, hmm. don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. Hmm. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's name. Yeah. Mom. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. You see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Soviet like paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. Sounds like me. <laughs> she was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. <laughs> that was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. Hmm. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Sounds like it was a good just memory. Lost my train of thought. Oh, no, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Hmm. Me and her. Hmm. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Yep. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. Oh my gosh, you such a This place can get a little too bro town for yeah. my thinking sometimes. She and totally I'm not on exactly time. like a people person, you know? Yep. I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> you were pretty cool, too, up there against those walkers. <laughs> so cute. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. <laughs> also so cute. 
This is Walking Dead. It's not, not supposed bad, to be full Joe. of so many cute kids. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Hmm. I think she got a little flustered there, buddy. Okay, the Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Okay, <laughs> here. For me? For the wall. To make our home look nice. Nice. That's a good idea, AJ. <laughs> AJ Strong, he tried really hard. So adorable. How about here? Me protecting Clem. Oh, what? So you get to decorate uh, your AJ? room? That sounds cool. That reminds me, didn't we get like a car ornament that was like a deer skull earlier? We didn't do anything with that. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's well, safe under here. Yeah, that's no, a good point. Uh, yeah, but it's... Cold down there. You're not going to sleep very well. It's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Hmm. That door is really sturdy. Trust me. I tried to get out earlier today. It wasn't easy. Oh, I don't know. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Probably just spooked because they're around people. Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I'll be okay. Yeah. I promise. Yeah, but you're not going to get good sleep down there. Is the problem with that. AJ, listen to me. It's going to be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Having a good night's rest can be very important. <laughs> huh. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. And because this is a video game, we're not going to mm -hmm. sleep under the covers because that this would be too much work nice. to render. <laughs> I'm glad we found it. Me too. And there's that music track recurring from across the series. I guess that's the end of episode one. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. It's in here. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. <laughs> sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. <laughs> but what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? <laughs> I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. Oh my but god, what? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. You're misgendering that it's police you toy. It's not yours anymore. Whoa, kid. 
It's mine. No, it's not. It's not yours just because you mine. took it. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. We gotta have a little talk there, buddy. Don't just go taking people's stuff. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? What? Dog? Marlon? Doggo! Oh, no. Stay back. Yep, I've been attacked by dogs a dog before too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. I love dogs. I'm I not swear, quite Rosie's not as frightening them, as she seems. <laughs> I have been attacked by one before. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie, shh. Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle, tell her to lie down. She'll lie down, Rosie. <laughs> That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was You have cool. trained that dog now pretty well, given the circumstances. She's really well trained. Yeah. <laughs> she was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, they bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. Wow. How shitty. What a dick. Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. <laughs> Fucking do that go here. Short. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Fucking don't go here. I like that. Hmm. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse. Nice, uh, yeah. greenhouse. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was possible. Huh. Yeah. We uh we keep away from that now. Hmm. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Ericsson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. This place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's hmm. secure mostly. You get the occasional walker to come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. The smoke coming from where we found you too. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. 
See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? Because <laughs> last time we did that, we lost a couple if people. someone goes outside the safe zone, bad yep. shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help all the time. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, mm. I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah, but multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Damn. Everyone's counting on me to step up. The leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, uh, I just hope he shows up. I'm really being honest. Hmm. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. Hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Hmm. Actually, gonna take a little bit of a break here. Go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Well, looks like there's no one here anyway, but turns out I'm going to be heading out. I'll be picking this back up a little bit later.